It's call okay. No, nah, I like three bet here. They've been playing tightly now. Oh, no, this, that's no. They haven't been playing that tightly. They had king six offsuit that one time, but that's because they had just gotten like, a huge chip lead. Kevin, Mr. Good Deeds, thank you for subbing again. How has your life been recently? You know, everyone does the, the the good deeds around Christmas, but Mr. Good Deeds is doing them all the time. He's like, this is this is like amateur season. I actually haven't done what I'm gonna do. What I like, I did the donation aspect, but I want to do a bit more. Um, but for me, there's no real requirement for me to do more. I just, I just. Like all this charitable stuff like blows up during Christmas and then like nothing, you know, so I'm also going to do some stuff in January and everything. Over here versus a rig. I'll go ahead and call tomato patch a rig. A good rig too. I think he's pretty tough. Oh shit. I got a call. Hmm. Don't love to get it in bad, but I think with that much money in the middle, nice hand. I have a few new notes because when I'm not streaming, I do my best to take notes on player type. Anything I see that may indicate a possible trend, I've been trying to take note of, but I try not to share those just because they become somewhat less valuable once, once they're public. We've got Big Lick. Six nine of hearts doesn't lose, baby. Oh, that turn, that turn, that turn. Yeah, uh, sorry. <laughs> it's poker. I've had enough bad beats and given enough that it just, I almost feel like sorry's, sorry is kind of a needle almost, right? There used to be a guy on poker stars with like, all capitals like sorry <laughs> with like a stupid look on his face <laughs> that tilted me um i'm gonna split <clears throat> yeah uh, it's actually a relatively low frequency call but i rolled low frequency also but calls fun calls a fun option here especially when you flop this I believe we still hold the nuts. You gotta shove tomato patch. You gotta shove. You can't win this pot by checking. Oh man. Okay. Cool. 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 I just saw that club and I was like, <clears throat> I still am kind of all man about it because I think I've killed my action with this river. <laughs> it's tempting, but I'm just going to show. He's thinking, do you have a 0% bluff frequency here? And the answer is no, but somewhat close to it. I think I should have just shoved though. It was stupid of me to do something other than shove. Um, I do often leave a little piece behind for, for, uh, to be able to stay in the tournament if called when beat, but unnecessary here really. And that's like th four big old big blinds that I should be betting. Actually meant to like only, it was a bit of a mistake in that like I meant to only leave like 1.5 and it was just three. But truthfully, yes, if I sucked out on a, on, a, on a grandma, I would feel super bad. In fact, I'll tell everyone a story about that where, uh, I don't know, like it was part of why I was not that into live for a little bit was because like, I just remember one time I was playing live and there was this wonderful woman, like super sweet. And uh, her whole family was like watching her. It's like, gosh, for your whole family to watch you here, you must be pretty special. And she was, she was sweet. And she was, uh, you could tell she had a great heart. Anyway, um, playing versus her, she was terrible. Like she was really bad at poker. And I didn't like soft play, but like I didn't isolate with like king six offsuit or something one time. 
I think, and like maybe this this other time, I, I just because I was in the middle of a conversation with her, and I don't know. I I, I felt afterwards like maybe I sh I, I could have played tougher against her. But that's in general my policy on that kind of stuff though is is even if it's your granny you got to play your toughest it's it's part of the ethics of the game actually like, hmm, are we get a call here you think yeah hmm, let's see what his three bet fold looks like hmm, low frequency Nah. Where does he like the 3-bet from, though? Big blind. <laughs> but he's shown down, like, some hands. I, I mean, I did roll I did roll shove. Fuck. Man. The thing is, like, I was going to fold, like, like, half the time damn I wasn't sure if I could three bet here see I'm not sure but I don't think Jack 10 like checks back that much this feels a little off yeah okay I'm not gonna go with it Actually, this hand has to. Shit. Hmm. Yeah, I I actually just am not going to go for this bluff. Even though I'm supposed to. Yeah. I just didn't imagine villains folding too often. All right, this player is obviously um, like going nuts on the bubble. This player seems pretty tight, but like I can't really say much because they're to the, to the left of a chip leader approaching the money. This category of hands does raise sometimes. Um, I'm actually okay with it. Let's see. Yeah. King eight, king nine offsuit. It's one of the weird, the, the, it's sort of the top of your raised fold range versus um, limp shoves. Hmm. Ace X limp shoves. Are there any turns like, I mean, sixes and fives give me a gut shot. I think I'm just betting. I think it's nice to block the the clubs the time bank maybe i should worry about a little bit but hmm not doing a ton of bluffing in this spot but i thought blocking both suits was reason enough the fuck does he have i think king high could be good here so i check i thought about going for it too i just thought that maybe there was too much showdown value he could have something like king five or king six suited i actually didn't think the villain should have too many ace highs did i remember about this one i think it's limp is best in this spot he checked fairly quickly which oftentimes indicates not a very good hand Oof. Blocked the straights, flushes a little bit. Seemed 
reasonable incredible oh what's up we got Jax. should we be nervous <laughs> i mean that's not queens plus though right so we're calling camera three two one blast off I get kind of amped about all ins now just because like ready to start crushing. Ooh. As far as the speed at which we should go, I still think we should probably go slower than I just did. Um, betting is fine. Checking is also fine. I think approaching the money, they... Checking your betting both work. I definitely have like a couple weak kings in my check back range. This hand in particular definitely wants to bet. With this line, he has a nine more than he has a five, but I'm still going to check. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to decide if I want to shove up here or just call. I think that, like, not shove, but like three bet call this villain. Who? I'm glad I didn't. But we'll see. I'm actually just going to kind of bet big. No one ever thinks that like a seven's really going to do that, right? Not this big ish. Everyone knows I go after these spots, though, right? This looks so strong, but I, I think everything looks strong. Actually, I mean, he's not going to value bet with an overpair. Maybe a smaller bet. I feel like I made a mistake there. I just kind of like this. That guy showed up with king six offsuit in the cutoff. I'm actually super lucky, in my opinion, to have only lost a little bit in that hand. Because him having aces there was kind of a bummer. Notice, though, how aggression can kind of help you control the size of the pot. Oh, shit, we got a hand. Speaking of. I think the final table bubble um, with our history and everything that a three bet is reasonable. It's call okay. Nah, I like three bet here. Even though, gosh, they they've been playing tightly now. No, this, that's no. They haven't been playing that tightly. They had king six offsuit that one time, but that's because they had just gotten like, a huge chip lead. Do you think he folds tens? Do you think he folds nines? Do you think the folds ace king is the real thing? I don't really know this player very well. I think that with the pot odds I'm receiving, I kind of have to call. Fuck. Lots of combos ace king. Didn't love it. Didn't love it. Hmm. Does anyone think that that might be a fold at final two tables? 
what you think, Tony Macaroni?